Winless on the PGA Tour, Marco Dawson entered his second year on the Champions Tour, still in search of that breakout victory. And then, in just his third start of the year, the moment he had been striving for had arrived. Marco Dawson, three rounds in the 60s, his first career win on the Champions Tour. I had several chances last year to win, and I didn't, but I, I knew I was right there knocking on the door, and it just happened this year, and I was putting well, driving the ball well. Everything started to click, so I, I kind of felt that just uh, be patient and manage your game. Everything else will take care of itself. You know, Marco had kind of an up-and-down career when he was younger, but you know this, this kind of second chance, I think, uh, He'll be a, a factor, a force for, for many years to come. Marco's a guy that's had to go through adversity, through surgeries, and um, he's constantly working on his game. He's not one to quit, and I'm, I'm happy for his success. With the respect of his competition and growing confidence, Dawson headed into the final major of the year in the best shape of his career. But it was the weather that was not cooperating. I was just trying to stay dry, and make sure I hit shots and not lose the club because it was a little rain. You know, I made a couple bogeys in the middle of the round there and and I thought, okay, well, I'm, I'm still hitting the ball well, but the last 10 holes, it seemed like I was in a kind of a different zone. I kind of forgot where I was and I was just trying to play golf and make some birdies. He beat us up on the British Open. He played outstanding coming down the stretch and winning the British Open, I think it really got him over the top. You know, winning the British uh, Senior Open at Sunningdale, Colin and uh, Bernard breathing down his neck just shows you a lot of character. And you never know with these guys when they can find form or take off. The dream season came to a close as the American wrapped up the first multi-win season of his career with an impressive sixth place finish in the Charles Schwab Cup. You know, I'm gonna just reflect on what I did earlier this year and what I did last year because they were very successful years. You just don't want to fool with success. So if it, if it works, don't fix it.